Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we are going to look at series our newly um, released four star. She is actually easy to build, guys. Easy to get copies of. You can pair her with virtually anybody in your team. So I guarantee you, you are not going to waste your resources building her. She can be handy as a second DPS shooter, even though your build is going to be for a de defensive purpose. And she is a monster in terms of her shield. Once she reaches either M3 or Manifestation 3 or Manifestation 5. So let's uh, first take a look at her skills. So her skills here, this is your standard skill. This is a special. So basically, this will give her initial blessing around herself, which results in 25% damage reduction. Also, she will be applying, if she dodges, while having this blessing active, adds kinetic damage to her shot. So this one is optional, guys. You can build this. Um, if you want to but the most important skill that we're going to be focusing on is going to be boundary guard So this is a support skill damage reduction, but this is more on a Shield a very sturdy shield which has a lot to you know to take so she deploys decreased protection to a fixed location in front of her Take note that decreased protection cannot be moved once deployed also guys take note that this skill only um, protects you from pro uh, projectiles it doesn't protect you from people passing through and also don't for don't forget that um, if there are mortars going your way or enemies that are jumping over the shield they can jump over the shield okay decreased protection duration is 15 seconds but once you reach manifestation 5 this will be forever in place uh, up until the shield um, is um, is destroyed. Okay, so damage absorbed by decreased protection is 150% of Sirius's max HP plus 1627. Take note that you have to build up her max HP for the defensive side. Um, not necessarily for attack percentage, but max HP. Take note of that, guys. The, the attack percentage is going to affect her other skills like her standard skill but this one is going to be based on hp once you have her neural skills active which is preferred decreased protection decreases the move speed uh, speed of targets within 2.5 meters by 50 percent they'll be slowed as they move forward and the other neural skill will be increases the aoe dec uh, decreased protection by 50 so this uh, second one uh, increases the AOE of the first one. So that is it. Um, this one, th these one, the, the movement speed is secondary. Um, you really want to improve the um, toughness of that shield of her. So we'll go back to this skill in a while. Let's move first to her ultimate. So this one is also damage reduction. So creates a birth though, protecting herself and repelling surrounding enemies. When birth dome is in effect, increases protect, protected operatives' movement speed by 20, uh, reduces damage taken by 20, and improves anti-interruption ability. This one is, again, damage um, reduction, so reduces damage taken. And this also scales by HP. So take note, if you improve your HP, both your support and ultimate skill will be increased or be buffed. Uh, her new neural skills when birth dope disappears restores HP to the protected operative equal to 20% of the remaining shield so she has she can gain HP once the birth dome disappears and birth dome simultaneously protects all operatives so you can literally switch from operative from another operative while your birth dome is up then the last is her alignment each time an operative uses a skill, increases max HP by 0.5%, increasing an additional 0 per 1 for each alignment index max 30 stack. So this one also contributes to her, um, what they call this, her max HP, which in turn will contribute to the toughness of her shield. So these three, the support, 
the ultimate and the um, alignment is going to play off her max HP. But again, we're building her because of her support skill, not because of her standard skill. This one scales off your attack. Okay, so that is for her skills, guys. So please take note. Her build is focused on HP, which leads us to her weapon. Her weapon, basically, you ideally, it's going to boil down to a gun that, you know, gives her HP or gives her um, increase in shield. This one, I use this because this is kinetic damage similar to her kit. That is the only reason that I'm using this. But if you want to change this, there's a gun actually that I'm using with another op which can increase shield construction efficiency by 24%, which I assume will add to the toughness of her shield or probably the increase the HP of the shield. This is called Precious Baby. So again, this one, if, if you're going to be building her for max potential for for shield then go for this the other um i think um weapon that you can use if if you can find a shotgun that increases this stat here to hp increases max this one increases attack there is a there are guns i've seen one in smg that increases hp so this one if you have a shotgun that increases hp that could be an option as well but for now you can use this if you want to increase the shield capacity or the efficiency of construction this one is going to be more of an offensive side which matches her what they call this her um kinetic build so and also this plays off her standard skill so again you have a couple of choices but if you want to uh, increase the efficiency over shield and more or less to be more tough this one is best uh, precious baby which is directly catering to her shield as the skill of this weapon okay so going back to weapon guys if you want to increase more of um what do you call this of her hp you can actually tinker with um the parts that she that, that this gun has so currently, I haven't obtained any gun or that has um, HP. So this one, if you unlock Mechanized Cop, you can increase max HP by 127. So these are the parts that you need to also, um, you know, also obtain so that you can increase your HP much more. This one, this is geared for attack. So I'm currently going to be going after this one if I have this shotgun. So this one also increases max HP. So basically for all her parts, there is a max HP stat. This one is going to be a free one. This is a green one which already increases max HP. So that is why I'm using it. So there is another one here. I think there are two here. The largest is 127. You can actually, um, if you obtain this gun, please level them up to level 50. So again, <clears throat> your parts will contribute as well to your HP. So might as well make sure that all of her parts contribute to her max HP. So that is it for your parts. And we're moving back to logistics, guys. Okay, so for logistics... It's going to be Kaufman Squad. I don't see any um, logistics that caters to additional HP. This will have to do for now, unless we do have any, you know, any other um, logistics in the future that can give us more shield. Then this is it for now. So Kaufman Squad increases shield acquisition efficiency by 30%. So again, I assume that that is going to contribute to the toughness of your shield. And when there are three officers, um, when shields are active, increase ballistic damage by 32. So again, she can be a she can be a very viable um, secondary DPS. So decreases damage received by 10%. Again, this is the best logistics for her as of the moment. While in her talent, 
two stats um, actually pop out. Again, max HP, you need to have this skill. The other one that you need to have, so preferably in one talent, you have max HP. Then you have alignment index. The third option in which you, if you want to hasten the the casting or this uh, the triggering of the shield you can actually go for uh skill haste but skill haste would be you know uh, the third option ideally both max hp and alignment index should be in the talent for your logistics okay so that is it guys for logistics we'll go next to manifestation so for her manifestation um, ideally, you need to take her to 3 and to 5. So, but right now, at 0 manifestation, she is already terrific. I don't really have a problem with her. Um, as you go to 3 and 5, it will make her, it will make her shield tougher and tougher. So that is my point. Right now, her shield at manifestation 0 is already very good. So, again, Manifestation 1, this is more of an offensive side. So, when de um, Decreased Protection ends, so this is Additional Initial Blessing. Um, number 2, Manifestation is shooting through Decreased Protection. I have a 30% chance to obtain Aptitude Effect. Both Manifestation 1 and 2 play um, to the functions of the Standard Skill in relation to decrease um, decrease protection but her m3 decrease protection can be can absorb an additional damage equal to 50% of Sirius's max hp again this is very very nice because this is 50% of her existing max hp um, uh, number 4 is going to be this is damage uh, initial coffin which is her standard skill but her fifth uh, manifestation is going to take out the time limit on the shield. So you can leave that shield up until the enemy destroys that shield. So take note, at zero manifestation, she is already terrific to build. But at uh, three manifestation and five, she definitely becomes a monster, as I've said, in terms of her shield. Okay, last part is going to be her Neuronics. Ideally, guys, um, only the standard skill you should be building for your cluster. So, Boundary Guard, Decreased Protection, decreases the movement speed of targets within 2.5 meters by 50%. We talked about this earlier. And increase the AoE of Decreased Protection by 50, which is the first one. So, these two will add to more on a defensive uh, aside from being tough, this will slow enemies down. Both of them will play um, to the strength of that shield. So it's going to be optional if you go with if you go with um, with initial coffin as a level up after um, the standard skill boundary guard. This will make her a good secondary DPS. But if you want to make her more defensive. Then you go with Light of Revival, which is her um, ultimate. So that is it, guys. Um, that is how you build her. So HP, 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 Alignment, Index. Those are the things that will make her tough in terms of, um, in terms of uh, how you're going to be using her. Again, she's very versatile. You cannot go, you know, go wrong if you invest in her. As early as now, I just um, I just need more copies of her. So hopefully I could reach at least Manifestation 3. So after her banner right now, you can actually... I hope she is added to the um, general population banner. So hopefully we can get more copies of her and build her in the future. So again, guys, if I um, just want to remind you, if you don't want to pull for the banner... You can actually get her for free here in the shop. There's a copy for those who don't know this. She is here. Um, you might as well get this if you don't want to pull for the banner for Chen Sheng. So again, all of us will have her build her guys as soon as possible. Especially for those who 
uh, want to have a more defensive, um, you know, defensive option for their lineup. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.